the video for Monument is some kind of inner journey, which I think is also what the music is about. Like space in time and physicality and your own experience of your body. It's about exploring the space around you and in you and finding your own space within it all. Half real, <laughs> half fantasy. The camera itself could be a character in a sci-fi movie from only maybe 10, 20 years back because it looks robotic and almost AI-like. It is nice and creepy to have it just looking at you. We're using a wire-based camera system so you can move the feeling of being kind of weightless. The song for me has a big, slow presence and that's something hopefully we'll create with these cameras. I like technology and it's fun to play around with things and see what you can do and try new things. But also when it's connected to feeling. It's a feeling you want, that's why you use the technology to, to get the feeling. Because Max, he's my boyfriend, he heard the song very early on and he said, I would like to talk to you about this idea that I have. He had a very strong, I think, feeling about what he wanted to do and he started developing it. And then we had all these conversations about what this place could look like. How do you explain these emotions? How do you communicate these things in a way that feels sincere, but not pretentious because the song is already kind of pretentious and the, the subject is too, but in a good way, you know, we feel like it's a mature world. There's going to be lights and darkness colliding and the five of us will be set in, in the midst of all of this. And it's all being served on some sort of a lit up platter to encapsulate this ceremony that we're partaking in. There's also choreography made by Hjerta van Dinte. They have a beautiful playfulness, kind of childlike fascination for things that is very immediate. They are willing to try anything with me. They're really going for whatever I give them and they don't censor themselves about it. It is very impressive. Yeah, vent up. The sky camera is wire-based, so it's four wires from the ceiling. And in the middle there's a rig with a camera hanging off a gyro head, so you can control it remotely. When you get the right kind of movements, you get a very, very free-flowing feeling because it moves along, attached to the ceiling, so there's nothing on the ground. You can turn around and look over your own shoulder, you can 360 all the way around. So you get a spacey feeling. A film shoot is very often a lot about technology, but I always feel like it's nice if you hide that, but it's still there. Like it shouldn't feel like it's about the technology, but technology helps you do things you didn't think you could see or you didn't think you could do. It can uh, slide over into being too cold and mechanical, but if you merge it with something else, the way I see film is often, yeah, it's a hybrid of technology and emotions and artistic visions. In a way, that's what Rixop and Robin also do. They merge something real with something computer generated. It's a real uh, feeling and a real uh, emotion somewhere. Not hidden, very evident, but still there's a base for it. And then they use technology and computers to create landscapes and images that are maybe more extravagant than you could without the use of computers. And I think it's a way of trying to get that feeling in the visuals as well. Oh, my God.